And I wonder if we've actually gotten another crystal level or any new abilities we can spend points on, because we have a lot of points. And uh, no, is the answer to that. We got nothing. We seriously have a lot of points. So he's maxed Ravager. We'll keep bumping his medic up, because he's the medic for the group, so. Screw you. I should probably bump up all of their rolls, because it gives them it gives them stat increases for everything, so. I really probably should do that. Let's proceed to do that, why not? Except the abilities. The abilities are useless unless you're playing that class, but everything else seems to stack with all the classes. So... Spark Strike. That sounds kind of cool, actually. Plus, it makes this glorious sound while I hold down the A button. It's glorious, I tell you. It's not glorious at all, but it's glorious. Kind of. Not really. Is she gonna get a roll level? Nope, not quite. She almost got a freaking roll level. On Ravager, a class she'll probably never use. Okay. Those are all auto- okay, so that's actually kind of cool. Tells you ATB costs, which I don't care about, because I just push auto battle. He's getting the hang of fighting. That's a good thing. All that auto battling has taught him how to fight. Is an item. Just one dude guarding this, really? Or is it this is a different dude actually. This is a feral one of those. You can tell because he has blankets for arms. He's also called barbed scepter. He also has a lot of health. Who knew? He doesn't do a lot of damage, though, so I'm not entirely sure what's so special about this guy. I mean, really, he's just sitting there tanking hits with his face. It takes forever to uh, stagger these dudes. 210% just to stagger. And a bolt of tail. Yay, he tails! It's exactly what I wanted is to have more molted tails in my pocket. An edged carbine. Well, considering I have her weapon upgraded, I seriously doubt I'm switching it. Yeah, no. That's, uh, that's not happening, no. I'm passing on that. I got a level seven weapon for her. I'm not gonna give her a new one. You silly, you silly game. And one of those things and a couple slimes. And apparently they have a view range of a billion feet. Are you going to turn around or are you just going to float backwards? Just going to float backwards. I think we can handle this without too much issue. You just have to kill the slimes first and then deal with that dude. Why the heck not? I again keep calling them slimes. Did I hit the other slime? No, the other slime jumped. Well, screw you, slime bro. Screw you. She did it that time, though. I like when she hits the right target with her blitz, that's always good. And when he ca- when, I don't like it when he freaking casts fire on something that's already dead. Whatever. Spin attack. Ow. That poisons. Huh. So they have a special attack and they poison. Okay. That works for me. And I think we're, what, nine hours into the game now? Uh, should probably heal Hope, but... I don't really care. There we go. And I got three stars. Hooray! Stars! I like stars. I mostly like stars because they make me feel good about myself. Little star stickers all over the place. Star stickers on my computer. There's a behemoth over there. Um, I'm not sure the behemoth picked the wrong fight. Hmm. I think we're actually going to use a Fortisol. Why not? We've got three of them. We'll roll with it. We can't ambush the dude, which would make that fight a joke. On your toes. 
So we'll just use one of those instead. Maybe we can actually get the dude staggered, which would make the rest of the fight a joke. Although at the current rate, I think he'll be halfway dead by the time we stagger the poor guy. Poor behemoths. Ow. And this is why I don't like behemoths, because they punch you in the face. And they can potentially one-shot uh, lightning, which would be very sad. I mean, if, if he one-shots lightning and just ends it like that, that's going to be a sad day. Paradigm shift, staggered, and dead. Killed in midair. Hooray! And I got magical moments. I assume that's a shop, which we're going to apparently put in our shop pocket. Because that's how pockets work. You keep shops in them. Roll with it. Are you now? Can you please stop looking ahead for no reason and running past enemies? That'd be great. What is this shop? I don't know. Oh. Um. Oh. Okay. I don't really care, but okay. <laughs> we'll roll with that. We'll save, though. See how long we've played. I think we have about an hour and a half of playtime today, and I like to keep it two hours a day, and I've not even made any of this public, and we're already freaking nine hours in. Freaking I swear. Nine hours in, haven't put any of this on YouTube yet. What is the point of that fence? There's obviously a gaping hole here. What, pray tell, is the point of that? Why have a fence if it doesn't block anything? Whatever. Also slimes. Slime. Leech. Slug thing. They're blind as a bat. B blind as a slug. Leech. Leech slug. They're blind as something. I don't know what, but they're blind as something. I was kind of hoping she'd kill them all in one blitz, but that works for it. We win! Those slimes are great, because they give, like, the same experience as freaking behemoth, but they're easy to kill. Behemoths, however, are not easy to kill. Don't mind if I just, uh, walk back here? I'd like to ambush this dude. If it lets me. I'm not sure it's gonna let me. It will! Hooray! That's gonna make this fight extremely easy. Alright, you wanna attack him real quick and stagger him for me? Thank you. Take some ages to stagger. Cause that'll let me perpetually launch this dude in the air every time I get to attack. Which is great, great fun. Back in the air you go. Cause he can't attack. I don't think we're actually gonna kill him during this stagger. Nope. Didn't kill him. That's how much health this dude has. We did, like, freaking 10,000 damage to the poor guy. Ow. Ow. Please stop hitting her. Please stop hitting her. Thank you. He's gonna hit her again. He's very rude. All I did was ask him to hit him. Stop hitting him. Stop hitting her. Whatever. Stop doing something is all I asked of the dude. I got a turbo jet? What? I have a turbo jet in my pocket now? And 1500 gil, that was totally worth it. What in the heck is a turbo jet? I don't know what a turbo jet is, but it's in my pocket. Um, I don't know what a turbo jet is. It's not in my inventory, as far as I could see. So which way is this guy facing? He's facing... I think this way? Oh, he's moving now. Don't move, that's rude. I'm trying to ambush you, we can't have you moving around. What's wrong is this guy's... Camping up like a boss. 
Yeah, I want to murder this guy. Stop talking about me, Hope. And we got a preemptive strike off. So yay! And we're going to blitz that thing. And hope we hit everything around it as well, which I think we did. So, that, yep, that did exactly what I wanted. Didn't stagger the guy, though. There we go. That was a pretty good fight. Hooray for actually planning things out. It's a glorious fun. It also very rarely happens, so don't get used to me actually planning what I'm going to do. Let's see, so we got a bunch of dudes over there. A bunch of dudes over there. And a behemoth and a bunch of slimes. Really? Is that necessary, game? Nothing new there. The only thing left for that is roll level, which isn't, as far as I'm aware, going to give us anything. So let's do this for some more stuff. Before we go fight that bollocks. And the only thing he has left is Synergist. Which is nearly maxed out as well. So much max. Bar fire? Oh. It literally bars fire. Hooray! Glad they did that. Alright. Um. And that was a trap as well. They actually blocked the fence off when you run in there. How very rude. Now the plan here is to blitz the behemoth, which is up there. And hope it hits everything around it. Didn't hit everything around it, but it hits some things around it, and it hopes being murdered by some stuff, so... That's a thing. We should probably kill the little stuff. Or we should probably let Hope heal. One of the two. Neither of which I really want to do. I think we're going to have to, though, because that thing's not dead. Come on, Hope. Keep your keep lightning alive. That's your only real job here. You're doing a pretty bad job of it. There he goes. Lightning will deal with everything else, you incompetent fool. Except for the behemoth, which appears to be punching her in the back. Hooray! And it nearly one-shot her. Thankfully, Hope heal her in midair. I don't like the fact that it can nearly one-shot my dudes. Really don't like that. And we need to heal again. This thing's a pain, man. I imagine these things are a pain because they are normally in the game enemies. They're kind of meant to be hard to kill. Can you heal her? Because if she gets hit with Eve, she's gonna die. Thank you. Ow, Jesus Christ, man, just die. Thank you. Much appreciated. I am glad they don't cast Meteor now. That's a massive pain. Maybe they will later, I don't know. If they do later... That's gonna suck, too. Give me my item, you pile of crap. You better be good for all that effort. Eight vials of fragrant oil. Um... Sure, I guess. I imagine those are actually fairly expensive. This, however... is a massive pile of crap. The, the, the fights, man. The fights are getting a little bit more difficult as we go here. Does Ravage hit multiple times? It seems like Ravage might hit multiple times. I don't know. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. There's horrible abominations of Satan here. Or Shinra. Or Sanctum. Whatever. Whoever runs this business. And you, you just can't stagger these dudes. Or at least not with my current setup can I stagger these dudes. And I don't feel like changing my setup. We are going to have to heal, though, I think. Because lightning's poisoned and hope is almost dead. What if? I do want to kill that thing, though. Can we kill that before we have to heal? Thank you. Hit the other one, actually. Maybe actually be able to kill this one. I didn't realize it was so low health. I don't know why it's so low health. I don't think we've been hitting it. Don't spin attack me. It's rude. 
really should have probably healed before that spin attack, but hey. Akash is on vacation in 15 minutes. We should all celebrate. Or something. There's another behemoth. Really? Is it necessary to have that many behemoths? I mean, really? Oh wait, they're fighting the behemoth. So, the dog things fight the behemoth, but the the leeches don't? I don't know which side to fight first. I think, um... I don't know which side to fight first. We should probably fight the Lobos, actually. Deal with the Lobos first, because the Behemoths can take a lot of damage from these guys. Let's get this three-way fight underway, shall we? And the uh, Behemoths already staggered as well, so I kind of helped them out pretty heavily on damage output. Leave this one last Lebo here. Lobo, not Lebo. Lebo. Is that even supposed to be? And st start taking some chunks off of this dude here. Launch him in the air. That's exactly what I wanted you to do. Except not really. Did you just kill it? No. It's poisoned, though. And now it's dead. <laughs> the Lobo killed it with poison. Glorious. Thank you, Lobo. I'm glad you poisoned them right before you died. That was actually kind of helpful. And we've almost got all of our technical points back from my Quake spam. My 360 no-scope Quake spam. There's nothing... Wait a second, there's a path over here. There's an item. In a large area with nothing in it. There's not going to be nothing in it, is there? Nope. What am I fighting, though? There's nothing here. It's gonna be like two behemoths or something ridiculous like that. Oh, wait, it's over there. That's it? Oh, nope. There's a behemoth up there. I see you up there. Hmm. Hmm. We're running real low on that stuff, but I'm not sure we can do that without a Fort Assault or something, so... And Hope somehow gets in here, despite the fact he wasn't actually in here when the fight started, but whatever. Let's get rid of the Barb Scepter. Spectre, not Scepter. Be a bit weird. Have I been saying Scepter this whole time? Please kill it. We didn't kill it. We are gonna ravage it to death, though, so that's a thing. No, just die before we ravage. Whatever. Please heal lightning. Thank you. I was afraid he was gonna hit her and kill her. All right, now we just need to deal with this thing. I'm gonna let him heal one last time. Do this, hit him again. We could actually just keep swapping back and forth to have lightning hit constantly because it does reset the uh, ABS gauge. But, you know, that feels a little bit cheap. I'm only gonna switch if I have to switch. Like if I need a medic to heal. I'll go ahead and switch for it, but otherwise, I don't think I'm going to abuse that. And he actually got a cure off at the end there. I wasn't expecting him to do that. These behemoths, man. They made them pretty tough. I'll give them that much. It's kind of dancing there. I don't know what it was doing. It was doing a little jig. I think we staggered it. And I got a molted tail. Do these behemoths drop anything? Have we gotten anything from a behemoth yet? A watchman's amulet. Critical veal. I think that's a higher chance of dodging. Could be mistaken, but I think that's what that is. I think that's actually technically the first time we've even seen veal, isn't it? Unless that's what the, the Septisol does. I don't remember. Who knows? I'm gonna go with harder or er, higher chance of dodging. And that'll probably end up being wrong, but whatever. What's up here? Save point? Uh no, no save point. There's some massive gaps between save points sometimes. Like seriously massive gaps sometimes. It just seems to be this area so far. 
Maybe as we go farther in the game, it'll be harder, I don't know, or larger gaps. You know, Hope's not on the elevator. He's still not on the elevator. Um... Alright, whatever. We didn't need Hope anyway, so, uh, screw you, game. Screw you. Let's look at upgrades again. I don't think we've gotten any real substantial stuff now, because we still don't have any, uh, wait, there was the turbojet. That is the only thing that we have that is mechanical. So there's not really any upgrade I can do without buying something, and I don't really want to buy stuff. Hmm. Could also look into upgrading this stuff again. Eh. Eh. Nothing for me to really upgrade. What is this pile of enemies over here, actually? Oh. It's dog things. Hooray, dog things! And there's a pile of corpses behind the dog things. That's always good. So then that I've given myself a cliffhanger to stop on, we're gonna go ahead and stop. You all can have that cliffhanger of why there's a giant pile of dead bodies over there. Spoiler! It's because the dogs killed them. I'm going to assume. They're not the dogs, the wolves. Lobos are not the dogs, you fool. You fool. Anyway, we're gonna end it. I think I'm gonna stop recording for today and take a nap because I'm tired. I'll deal with it, yo. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.